point is, she straight up sucks, bro. Whoa. Typical Tahani. Brings us a faulty plant so she can brag about being a better gardener. No, I think this is another way in which your negative actions affect this world. This plant represents your relationship to Tahani, so when you're mean to her, it starts to wilt. Well, then this plant is doomed, because tomorrow I'm going with her and I'm gonna prove to you and to everyone that she is secretly a two-faced, calculating, phony bench. <laughs> yeah. Truth hurts, doesn't it, plant? I stole Tahani's diary so I could see if her handwriting matches the note and also <laughs> read about all the mean and terrible things she's definitely done so I can prove she's actually evil. Huh. What do you think that means? Behind each of you is a torch. Go ahead and grab a torch and approach the flame. Because in this game, fire represents your life. When your fire's gone, so are you. Take a seat. This island is pretty much full of only two things, snakes and rats. And in the end of Mother Nature, we have Richard the Snake, who knowingly went after prey, and Kelly, who turned into the rat that ran around like the rats do on this island, trying to run from the snake. I feel we owe it to the island's spirits that we have learned to come to know, to let it be in the end the way Mother Nature intended it to be, for the snake to eat the rat. Of all the pretty faces he'd seen, Narcissus had never found one more fascinating than his own. Perfection. Utter perfection. You're fabulous. Narcissus grew more and more enchanted with his own image. He never once looked away from his reflection, for he was now sure it had spoken back to him. I've never said this to anyone. I believe I love you. I love you. I can quite understand Mr. Harker's concern. I'm afraid it's quite serious. My dear, I'm sure Count Dracula will excuse you. You must go to your room, as Professor Van Helsing suggests. Oh, but really, Father, I'm feeling quite well. You had better do as your father advises. Very well. Good night, John. Have you ever had a dream, Neo, that you were so sure was real? What if you were unable to wake from that dream? How would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world? I'm right here. 
I don't understand. Did you think it was coincidence? So many good things all happening for you, all for you, Norman. What do you want? To say what you won't. To do what you can't. To remove those in your way. This is a really special ring. Looking at these rings, I'm finding myself smiling. I'm like a giddy kid. God, the band is amazing. Tiny diamond work all over. That is absolutely beautiful. You know, you're making a life's decision. You know? I am. My hands are shaking, and I'm realizing that I'm looking at these rings with true intent. It's a feeling I've never experienced before. Neil, this is breathtaking. This is it. This is it. It's a beautiful ring. She's a beautiful woman. And into this ring, he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. One ring to rule them all. I'm absolutely terrified because it's pitch dark. You can't see anything. I mean, it's scary. Ah! That noise is, like, freaking me out. But... But that's kind of how life is sometimes. It's like when you're with the person you love, you're going down this dark alleyway. And what scares me here is taking a risk and not knowing the outcome. In this situation, you have to let go. Otherwise, you don't fall in love. <laughs> All of a sudden, we turn a corner, and Ashley and I found the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah.